Hello, this is part 11 of our tutorial. We are almost finished with it. We managed to create a scene, assign materials. We can now replace materials and play animation interactively. And uh, in this part, we just uh, um, continue improving by just uh, fixing some uh, small issues which still present and the first uh, thing uh, I love to uh, fix is the direction of the light uh, I should have to um, fix it in the part uh, 2 actually but uh, basically I forgot to do this so let's do this now we want uh, temporarily uh, remove um, from the viewport our sphere and we want it to uh, we want the night state to be lit from the front not from the back actually so let's just um, uh, rotate the lamp a bit so that it shines from the front so uh, this is basically it. So let's sneak peek, check. Yeah. Uh, now shadows are going to backwards, and we got some mm, lighting here in the front. It's a better looking scene. So uh, the second thing that we uh, can notice is uh, the absence of any limitations uh, when we control our view so we can go so far and we uh, we can intersect with the model and this is not good we also can uh, view it from behind it's not good so in order to fix this we select our camera so also already selected here but let's Make sure we select our camera, go to camera settings and uh, uh, set up our distances. Minimal distance, let's set it to two units and uh, maximum distance, let's set it to five units and uh, the maximum vertical rotation angle, let's um, make it kind of um, 85 degrees and check sneak peek right so we cannot move too too close or too far and we cannot see from uh, below this is good so we finished with the camera and now we can notice that at oblique angles it um, the quality of the texture of the wood texture degrades uh, significantly and in order to fix this we can um, enable an isotropic filtering for our texture so let's select uh, the material and um, select the texture here and uh, uh, find in verse 3D settings uh, find an isotropic filtering drop down and change it to for example 8 it works rather well so when we sneak peek it again we notice that the quality does not degrade now uh, compared to to the initial uh, model right so this is very good and uh, finally what we want to do is uh, we want to uh, enable a set compression for our scene uh, because our scene will be loading uh, from a website and is all very important to have it uh, as uh, compact as possible and we do this 
by running puzzles so let's run puzzles switch to init tap in the puzzles editor and uh, in the from the initialization uh, category let's drag out the configure application puzzle so it uh, contains the first option called uh, compressed assets and this is what we want to enable so let's enable it save and um, try to run right away refresh and we notice that we got loading problem this is because our assets are not compressed so we requested loading compressed assets in our application but they are not ready actually so we need to enable uh, compression uh, upon export so how do we do this we go to blender go to render tab and here we click enable elzmaic compression Elzmaic is a algorithm for compression very efficient and web friendly algorithm which uh, greatly reduces uh, the file size of your scene files so when we enabled it we export gltl as usual and uh, we can check that uh, it is actually created created this compressed versions of our files in the application folder so let's go to verse 3d applications our application called nightstand and here we can uh, ensure that we actually got compressed version of our gltf file so this is gltf file and this is uh, the compressed version with xz extension and the binary part of our export exported file is also compressed with xz and we can compare uh, how efficiently it compresses by checking uh, the numbers so it's uh, 100 kilobytes and now it's just 5 so 20 times and uh, with a binary part it's uh, like 7 7 times efficient uh, so if you got uh, high poly models if you got if you got imports uh, from CAD CADs so this is uh, the only way to go if you are creating a web applications web applications which uh, need to be loaded fast uh, from their website so we export it and now we can just refresh and just uh, be sure that uh, we did it right so we can also run uh, the nightstand without puzzles now by clicking the blue icon okay so it runs it plays and it basically is ready for publishing which we'll be doing in the final part of our tutorial thanks for watching